0.001% of people on this planet will have access to internet, have a YouTube set up, and could be possibly watching this video. So if you're here, it is not by coincidence. There are many messages here for you. Oh my God, it's been so long. Okay, where do I begin? Wow. It's like, when you're ready for the message, I appear. That's what it's giving. And I'm feeling like there's been a lot that you've been learning, whoever you are. I just know that I'm talking to the 0.001%. Oh, distractions, distractions are all communication, even if it seems to be bad. It's all communication from the universe. If it's not fitting perfectly, it is not meant for me. That is the next mantra for you, closing out whatever season this is in your life. What is meant for me will align perfectly. It will not be, well, everything's so perfect, but perfect synchronicity is so amazing. And angel numbers are so amazing, not because we set our timer to catch it. We're missing the point. But when we see it, what are the chances of us seeing it? It's very rare. It's very rare for you to be on this video seeking this type of information in this enlightenment. And this is something I had to learn in my own journey, arriving to this destination for me to even be able to channel these messages. I have to be so perfectly aligned. So I know that it's sparingly that I post, but it is sparingly that I am so perfectly connected with all of you and the universe to deliver a message such as this. It's that rare. And I know what I have to do with myself to align to even receive these messages because you have to be in a good vibration to receive these good news for you to break free from situations that feel like they could be traps, but there actually is a way out or a way forward and there actually is guidance and communication coming in for you. So that's why I have arrived here. You're finally here and ready to receive this message. It is not too good to be true. In fact, if it is good, you know it's true. We have to know the truth. So I'm an energy reader. If you guys are here for the first time, I use cards for you to see the clues because the message is already coming. And there is a lot going on. That is all I'm feeling is that there is a lot going on. But the good news is that it's all information and communication from the universe, God, whichever you use, that is guiding you through truth. So you never have to question again how do I know this person is who they say they are? How do I know this is the right way to go? How will I know that I should be moving? The signs will be there. And if you avoid them or you don't see them, the universe loves you so much, it will be turned up to where it seems like I got to get out of here, whatever that may be. And that's what's been happening in your life. So if you are here, you are part of a tribe that is very rare, that is being called to carry the light. The light is the truth. I know a lot of people make jokes about love and light, but it is truly choosing to be your true self. And that is someone who desires compassion, connection. So, you are manifesting more and that's why I have arrived. I was inspired to do three different images. So I made these images specifically for you. So whoever you are, there's a reason why you're choosing this specific image. I know what energy went behind it to create it into existence. So I'm gonna be channeling those messages based on the image. And I'm also going to be channeling messages based on cards that come out for fun because it's always fun to see confirmation <laughs> is what I'm getting. So anytime the cards come out, it's just a confirmation to the message you already knew, which is why you can even say it resonates with you because you already know this in your spirit. And as a tribe leader, I am here to guide 
a collective group of people that will leave behind the light to find in the next life time. If you're still on this intro, this message is for you. You would not be here still. Some people already clicked to the next deck. So how many more signs do you need for you to know it's aligned? I guess we got to be patient with ourselves. Ourselves have to be more patient with itself. Because if you just stay a little longer, you relax and allow the message to come, it will come. So I am just here as a teacher by living through it and here speaking to it and, and putting it out into the universe so that you can find the light. And the good news is you don't have to depend on me. You don't have to depend on any card. It is a feeling that you have within the universe is communicating with you. I am simply a guide here just to guide you back towards that. So then you will also light someone else's lantern. That is what I'm here to do. So my desire here for this reading is to channel a message from the most high source. So for me to be here today is a very, very special moment because anytime I release this, it is a meteor out into the universe. As that means more people are finding the truth. It matters about the truth that you are telling, the truth that you're aligning with, the authentic version of you. And that is what I'm here to do is to ignite your torch. So I have three different images that you guys can choose from. You can go down to the comment and you can just jump to the deck. You can listen to all the decks that are called to you, which once again, if it happens, just trust it. It's not a mistake. A lot of you are overlooking this communication that's coming from the universe. Like I must have accidentally, no, you showed up, you're here. Okay. So it's like, even when things happen and you already send a text message, like, oh, should I have done it? You've already done it. Therefore it was meant to be just trust what's meant to be. It'll align easily. This message today is feeling like an empowered message from your higher self, from the universe signs that are going to come in what you're manifesting. I'm just going to, once again, let it flow as a guide, as your energy reader on this planet to lead you to the source of truth. And only, you know, based on how you feel. So it's no longer depending on credibility, validation, influence, how much money you make, what you look like. Are you aligned with the light? Because if you're aligned with the light, you would be happy because this life is beautiful, no matter what it appears to seem to be to you. Light is happiness. It's love. It's companionship. It's peace. It's so much more, but it's truth. And that is what I'm hearing. So today in the message, that's basically everything. So as your energy reader, I'm going to be channeling a message from the universe for exactly where you are and a message that you needed to hear for the 0.001%. Once again, it's no mistake that you're here. Even if you don't know why you're here, even if you don't know if you're ready to be here, you're here. And this is what you've got to trust and trust that it all works out in your favor. So image one, if you guys were drawn to this image, this is the message that I have for you. So when I originally created this image, the whole world in my hands came to me and the Empress jumped out. So this is telling me that whoever you are, you are here to align with your most excited moments of time. Okay, so you are a creator and you bring things to life which means you see it before it happens as well. So you do have a gift to see the future. I don't know if you know this, you do have a gift, okay? It could be sent to you in a vision. It could be sent to you in a dream. When you see something, you see it before you're bringing it to life. This is what allows you to be a visionary is you're having these visions of things you want to bring to life, events you want to bring to life, ideas, inventions. Once again, the empress, this is someone who is a creator, which means you will be born many times just to find the true version of you, which is the creator. You are here to bring visions to life. Now, does that mean there's something you need to go figure out? No. You already know how to do this. So this is very intuitive with the Empress that came out. So I want to see what are the cards and what is the universe saying? I already kind of know based on this energy. Let's get confirmation. Okay. We have the Queen of Swords. 
queen of swords, someone who is very intuitive, very sharp, a, a communicator, a speaker, having something to say, speaking up about something. Five of veil, five of veils, five of cups. So this tells me it says you lose. Some of you have afraid of failing, afraid of losing. You only fail what you are not meant to do. So even failure is great communication because it lets me know a confirmation of this is not for me. This is not for me. So once again, there's this fear word. It, what I'm he hearing come up right now is what is fear? The more fearless you are, the more you you are becoming. The more fearless you are, the more you will discover who you are. Okay, so there's a lot of fear of failure of losing. You cannot fail what is destined for you. True success is alignment. It's not hard work. Alignment is also considered good luck. So this tells me that you actually have good luck for things to work in your favor. But with the five of cups being in reverse, this is something that you're letting go of, um, not having, uh, having deep regrets about decisions you made, you know, letting go of everything that has led you to this point. You're perfectly aligned with where you need to be and your creations are going to gift to you the very dream life that you've ever could dream of and imagine. So it is through these creations. So you could have a gift to technology, to computers, to the internet, to manifestation, to creation, to spirituality, to being in, in, in alignment with success, to be successful. Could also be a musician, an artist, TV, film, anything. I'm getting creator. Let's see. Can you just focus? So I hear that many of you could be drawn to another image because I do feel there's going to be movement in where you're creating, okay? There, one, level one, there's freedom from survival. Once you get to a space where you're not concerned with survival, then you're able to be even more freer. So there's a level of freedom to where you feel like you're on top of the world and there's anything you can have. Let's see what this creator energy is coming from. Give me a card that best resonates with the person watching this video. Okay, we have Elizabeth Taylor. Love yourself. You are worth it. Okay, so a lot of luxury. We have jewelry. So there is a lot of practical abundance that is meant for you. So you could be an earth sign. You don't have to be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You are just meant to bring images, ideas into life, into the physical world, into the 3D. And the closer you are to your true self, the more this guidance is potent, the more you can hear it, the more you can focus on it, the more it comes to you and aligns with you very quickly. So with Elizabeth Taylor, love yourself, you're worth it. What I'm also getting from this card is this is about living the life that you really enjoy, that you're really excited to live. And this isn't something that you can let go of. It will always show up and you must know that you're worth it. So when it comes to manifestation, true manifestation is reception, is to align yourself to receive what you desire, whatever that may be. So I'm also hearing not to judge your desires. So even if it's too big, let yourself dream, let yourself expand. And if anything, it's going to give you a look into the future. It's going to give you an insight to where you desire to be. Okay. So all of this is communication from your higher self to be open to, to be open to receiving what it is that you desire. Okay. Because it will feel so overwhelmingly good you will not know why you deserve it if you don't know that you deserve it. You will question it, you will push it away, you will give it back. So there's something about being very receptive to you receiving in this next season of your life. So loving yourself is very important. You are setting the tone. 
by how you love yourself, you are setting the tone for how others will love you because you're showing them and you're showing them the highest. So whatever else is coming up around you, even if it looks bad, it's all good. It's all good because it's leading you to a place. It's leading you out of a place. Okay. It's aligning you. You have to trust more, trust more of this higher self in you. So Elizabeth Taylor is also someone who's very wealthy. Okay. Someone who's very wealthy, wealthy enough to have jewelry. We have the six of pentacles in reverse. So yeah, it's about receiving six of pentacles. We have the six, three and three on each side. This is about balance. So being open to receiving as much as you are giving as you give life to your creations, be open to receiving. As you share them, share your creations, share your ideas with people outside of who already knows you. It's important for you to see the real version of you. And some of those people I'm hearing are limited. Okay. I'm talking friends, family, partner, the people closest to you that do not see this version of you. If they did, they would have already revealed it to you. So you're either, you're not listening or they don't see you, okay? Because if we're chilling and hanging out, I'm looking at you. I can see you beyond what it looks like on the 3D, what job you have, what gender you have, what are your eye color, how tall are you, how, how successful are you? I can see past that, and so can you. That is a deep, deep connection. So you're also on the verge of creating and manifesting deep connections that you actually feel something deeper and these are soul connections. So you are creating this world for yourself, but really you are choosing to receive this reality in your life. And some people push it away because they don't feel good enough. They feel like they have to work more. They feel like they do now have to do overtime to make this happen. You don't have to make anything happen. Anytime you get into, okay, I got to make this happen. It's right there that it's telling you, you are not acting out of your higher self. Your higher self is not worried. Your higher self already knows. Okay, so it's like trusting that feeling. Why? Because it feels good. Trust relief because it feels good. Just trust it because it feels good is what I'm getting, okay? Once again, 0.001% of people on this planet can even understand what I'm saying right now. I'm talking about 3D, different dimensions. So you are here for a reason and you're everywhere you are for a reason. You can have fun with that and see that as a fun mystery or that can really bring anxiety by overthinking. Okay. So there's an alignment with understanding who you are. Your mind is simply just a tool that belongs to you. So it is not you. And it's on a rampage. And when you're in your mind, you're not creating because it's impossible to do both at the same time. Thinking and creating two different things going two different ways. And if anything, it's a tug of war. So you either create or you think. But when you're creating, you are not thinking. You know this as an artist, you know this as an athlete, when you're in the zone, you're not thinking, oh, okay, I gotta perfectly place my hand. You're not thinking, it's a flow, it's a feeling. And that is called perfect synchronicity, perfect alignment to where everything works out for you, even if it appears not to. All right, so being open to receiving now, these creations would not be here if you did not bring them to life. Understand how powerful that is, Empress. The Empress is the one who gives birth to life. That is who you are. You are bringing to life visions and ideas that you have. And I'm just feeling and hearing the universe saying, focus on what you love. It's not about I'm doing this because it's a good idea. Because that will not be enough to keep doing it, which is a sign that that is not something that you're aligned with, that you love. Right? It's the results of the idea that you love. 
And guess what? Success, success is what you're meant to experience. Your sign of life in being here alone is a sign that you are successfully here and alive. That is a success. I don't know if we have to talk about the chances of you being here alive, considering all the bad things that could have happened along the process of your journey, but you're here. So with that being said, you are meant for success. You are perfectly aligned to success. This is not something you have to make happen. This is not something you have to do. It's already manifesting for you. It's already aligned to what you're here to experience, but it requires a lot of flow. So in order to flow and continue that, and continue that flow, you are here to receive now. Now is your time to receive. And it's meant to be easy. Easy is a sign that it's coming naturally and it's meant for me. That is the truth. How do you know the truth? Because it feels good. When you feel good, you feel God. God is good. So I know that's the truth because damn, that feels good that you're saying it's easier than what I'm making it. It's easier. It's always easier. Literally, it's always easier. And that's how good God really is. See, people say God is good, but do you really mean it? Do you really mean it? <laughs> like, because if you knew that all goodness came from God, even feeling bad is a sign that this isn't for me. But we're not listening. We're not listening as much as we could be. And listening takes space. Space in your environment to where it's like you're getting away on top of the world where it's quiet, peace and quiet, somewhere where you can connect, somewhere where you can just create and express. That's what I feel like you're manifesting too. So it could be another workspace, could be a second space. Okay, for some of you, I'm hearing the penthouse because it's at the very top. There's no one above you. Noise is very important to you. Sound is important to you if you've chosen this card. So what I mean by that is who you're around is important to your energy, what you're hearing every day, you know, surrounding yourself around people who can see you, the good in you, the light in you, people who show you that you're here to receive and they're the example of it. That's what you're actually coming into. Let's see if there's anything else here. Arms, eight of swords in reverse. So you're freeing yourself. Okay, mentally freeing yourself from what you don't think and also worrying about what people will say or what they will think. That's when you're going to become your most freest when you stop caring about what people think. Every creation you bring to life is a miracle. It's here because of you. That says a lot. It's here because of you. If you were not here, it would not have been created. Literally, whatever this is, whatever this is. Now, once again, it's driven off of excitement. No one has to pay you to do this. You're just doing it because you love it. There are some things that you're good at. See, people, they think that's where their success is. Oh, well, I'm good at this. Just because you're good at it doesn't mean that it's aligned for success. Success is aligned with perfect alignment perfect aim. This is not something you can try to make happen. It's the luck of the draw. If you overlook many companies, they will tell you it, a lot of it was an accident. A lot of the ideas were accidents. And that's because, yes, the universe could be the only entity giving you a creation. And only you are the one to receive it. So you have to trust that. So that comes to the point of who cares what people think of your creation. It's like having a baby and then people talking about it. It's like, it's like, how can we judge this? This is beautiful. There's no such thing as bad creation, period. No such thing. It's like the little girl bringing home the painting to put on the, the refrigerator and the mom and dad's like, huh, I don't know. What is it? Is it a dragon, honey? It's like, I don't know what it is, but it looks beautiful because you did it. You brought this to life. Be proud. I don't, you know, I don't want it to be. It's not an ego thing. But acknowledge, okay? Some people I'm hearing Vegas is big because I'm seeing the dome, okay? There's something here and you are meant to do it. I'm picking up a lot of music. I'm picking up a lot of artistry, a lot of creativity, 
Okay. It could be design art in general. Your whole life is a creation. Your entire life, every day, every moment, you are making a decision that is lighting the path for a specific reality. So you are setting yourself free from what do people think? What will they think? Okay, you're also manifesting, manifesting a place where it's quiet and peaceful and it's your own little work zone. It's giving me a lab. It's giving me a place above it all. Okay, and this could even just be a feeling. It might just feel like it. Sometimes we're so literal, but it's the feeling that we're after. All right, what else do we have here? The executive, okay? So we have the king of cups in reverse. So this tells me you've been in your mind a lot with the queen of swords and outside of your intuition and outside of your feeling, you've been placing what you think is more important, which is your thoughts, your brilliance, your intelligence. But I assure you, your creation surpasses all of this. It would literally be like planning to create a child. And even then people tried to do it, but you don't control. It's like, where there's control, there's ego. Only creation can come from God. So when you're creating, you're allowing space for God. You're allowing space for your higher self, your energy, your God in you to come forth. That is the truth. But you see, 99.9% .9 of people on this planet will not find this video. They are not ready for this message. They do not even understand this language. So this is something also about not overlooking how amazing you are at the fact that you're aware. You're aware than most. You're alive. You actually are more alive than most people because you can feel. The truth makes you feel. Your soul is getting shocked. You are feeling. Even being on this video, you're feeling something different. And most people don't get that feeling of electricity, of excitement, of inspiration, because one, they're not looking for it, or two, they're just not ready to receive it. So that's also for the people around you that I'm getting. They might not be open to receiving all the love and, and everything that you have, the compassion, the deep desires, the deep desires in life. Some people are like, oh, okay, so you're going to do what? You're going to build what? You're doing what? They're not ready to receive the impossible. You're ready. Okay, so why is this king of cups in reverse? Two of flames. So we have the two of wands. So making a decision. So there's a bit of tug of war here that you're going through right now. And you're getting closer and closer to making a decision that will align you with joy that will align you with enjoying because what's the point of joy if you're not enjoying if you're not in the joy like feeling it like so it's it's more than success it's like we desire we're all successful but really understanding what that means success means we feel good and we feel so good about it that others do too and the results are producing from that the fruit from that's producing, which means and influence is coming and materials are coming. But first and foremost, it feels good. There's excitement behind it. What is it that you're moving towards here once you make this decision? Foresight. I knew it. I've said it earlier. I knew it. I knew what I was saying. Okay. You have this gift. Seeing into the future. I just said this. So it is almost like saying, wow, that lamp would look good over there. How do you know that? Because in your head, we see it. You're seeing it. And then you go put the plan over there and say, oh, okay. You see the outfit on, which is why sometimes you get the outfit and you're like, oh, this is not as good as I thought it was going to look. You've seen it before you acted in the 3D. There's a very small millisecond that happens in between. And so that's what's happening here. So with the two of, of wires, it's about making a decision and you already see. 
what feels good. So it says plan ahead, early retirement, material gains, another confirmation. You are here and will be practically abundant. Before you leave this earth, you will be practically abundant. It's up to you when you're ready to receive. It's never, it's never the universe, guys. The universe is not teaching us lessons. It just so happens that it's a lesson because of the direction we're choosing to go. It's not the universe saying, ooh, lesson, ooh, let me put a lesson here. Ooh, let me put a lesson there. No, the universe is a genie granting your desires. That is the truth. And you are the magician waving your wand, but you gotta be open to receiving it. And I know this is deep, and that's why I titled it for the .001%. If they're not here, they're not ready to hear how good it is. That, oh, wow, we really don't have to do anything. We just have to let it align. Yes. So peace is very important for you to be able to channel, for you to create, okay? Your atmosphere, what you're around, who you're around is changing for your benefit. If it looks bad, trust that it is a blessing in disguise. More trust is going to be required in what feels good. If it feels bad, this is just evidence of fear relieving, relieving itself from you. Feeling bad is evidence of fear that needs to be rid. So feeling bad is also communication. Like, hey, not this way. That's how much the universe loves us. That's how much it's very important you understand who's telling the truth. Not because they have a degree. Not because they have all these cars, but are they connected to something authentic, something that we all desire to know, which is the truth, whether it's what are we here for, how easy it really is meant to be, that the universe is actually a genie. It would have to take someone to go on this path to discover that. And that is what I have done in my life is I've chosen to take this path because I said, I really want to know what the truth is. I really want to know so I could be at peace with all of this because something inside me is leading me to more. That is you, card one, especially if you chose this image. So now it's just time to trust it. It probably won't be as blatant as, hey, this is the universe communicating with you. I am just simply a guide here, the middleman, and I'm getting the messages. So you are receiving communication in your visions of the future, especially when you feel good about them, is confirmation that it's already destined. So if you know that it's already destined and if you can trust that, if you can trust that, you can enjoy the journey, which is what you would have wished you would have done once you get there. It's like, well, damn, if I would have known it all worked out, I probably would have relaxed a bit along the way. No, you don't want to be there to discover that. I'm telling you now, foresight, rest. Rest is a sign of trust in the universe, okay? This is all what we've been talking about in level 11. So if you guys want to find that, you can find that somewhere on my description page, okay? So we're being called to so much more and I'm excited because the world's expanding and now they're ready to hear this message. So once again, all of the subscribers, it's just confirmation of tribe that you're not alone. Look at the number. It's not just about the number. Look at how many people are saying, hey, this aligns with me. So the more and more I narrow down what I'm inspired to channel, the more I'm connecting with my tribe and your tribe, if you're here, the light tribe. We're here to discover the light. And it's so beautiful and so good which is what you're going to see when you align it and allow it to align perfectly. It's so good that I got to tell everybody just like something you eat. That's so good. It's like, mm, you got to try this. You got to try this. That's what it's like. It's so delicious. I got to share this. Like, do you taste how good this is? And that's what inspired me to be here. Okay. So we are all taking leaps and bounds into look friendship tribe okay if you're here and you're subscribed you are tribe light tribe i know you can only be here because of that and that's what i love about just giving you those videos and not the videos that youtube recommends or this or that or going off of good ideas or any of that no i'm having my most success by what do i want to talk about today what do i want to do 
what excites me. And that's the only way it could be this precise, this accurate, this powerful. So you have friendship coming along. And if you are here, your tribe is here. So we should start building the community of light tribe. I don't know how, but I see it happening and I see it coming together. You're the creators of the generation. You are the influence. Okay. That's what I'm hearing. So what's coming in your near future for image one? Courage. All right. So the courage to share, share your creation, share your excitement of ideas. So when I say ideas, some people just do it because it's a good idea, but it usually ends up because it pays off. We don't want to follow the path of if it pays off because eventually you get all that money and you still realize this doesn't fulfill me. So I would rather let go of the money and go right back to square one. So just trust there's a reason for the timing. And once again, it's not the universe keeping it away. It's just yourself being in alignment to receive it. Okay. So having the courage to be, be safe, it says fear is an illusion. Remember we talked about that earlier. Fear, that word fear, the less fear you have, the more you, you become fear, false evidence appearing real. Have you ever heard of that one? It's not even true, but we give our power away when we choose to believe in it. And then we start to see it come to life. But that fear is not true. It's not true. It belongs to a version of you that was fearful. And fear belongs to the ego. And we are thankful for the ego because it allows us to be here physically. The ego is physical, mind, body. Okay, It's your identity that you are here in. <laughs> but you... Are so, like it's again, this is so much to break down and teach. I don't want to get too teachy, but setting strong boundaries. So this is very important too with those people is having the courage to say no, having the courage to be yourself, to express yourself. There is a world of people who will align with your creations because they will be the best creations they have ever seen. And that's what I'm hearing. So don't wait on the people who cannot see what else is coming that they're manifesting. Card one. Can't make it up. I cannot. Miracles. You're here to receive miracles. It's going to feel like a miracle because you didn't have anything to do with it. And that's what a miracle considers itself to be. No control. It just happened. It was a miracle. And only God in the universe can work miracles. So allow your higher self, your energy to come through and allow yourself to receive. Be open to receiving goodness. Believe you are worthy of more. A gift is coming to you soon. So to truly be worthy, to feel worthy, you must understand who you are. It's yours because it belongs to you. There's nothing you have to do to earn it. It's already yours. Your desires are already yours. There's nothing you have to do. And that's the crazy part where worthy comes in. It's like, well, I want to feel worthy of it being mine. So what do I need to do? Work more? What do I? Well, you tell me, what does yourself feel like it needs to do more to feel worthy? Work more, put in more time, be more productive. No, none of that feels good. So I know none of that is God's voice talking. I'm telling you, this is powerful. This people are not here yet. And you're here. So much power to be open to receive. It is like a gift under the Christmas tree with your name on it. And you're saying, I don't know if I can take that. And the person who bought it, the universe, says, well, it's already yours. Which is why I said earlier, if you have the fear of it being too good to be true, or maybe you feel bad receiving from people, like whatever it is. You're letting go of that so you can receive this. You're, and so that's where the lessons come in, is once you take a direction other than your authentic direction, there will be a bumper, just like on the bowling alley. A bumper, ooh, over here. That's how much the universe loves us that we're even guided through that. And so we choose and then if there's a lesson there, the bumper's there, the bumper's there, but it's not the universe placing the lessons there. 
or placing a test there, especially to feel like you deserve it. Just listen to that. Listen to that and feel what that feels like. You don't need me to tell you. Like that doesn't even feel good. So I have to pass this test to earn this reward. That sounds like the matrix. That sounds like school. That sounds like work. That sounds like anything you needed to bribe me to do to do. Anything you needed to bribe me to get to do. That's what that sounds like. So we have to know what even feels good anymore. We think it's so simple. Oh, okay. Feels good. Focus on feels good. No, I'm being serious. Even when it comes to the people you love, if it doesn't feel good, that is a sign to create space or to be aware of something that is in the energy there. Okay, so having the courage to be yourself, having the courage to receive, having the courage to feel worthy. So once again, like the gift under the Christmas tree, it's so silly to the universe because the universe is like, it's yours, so I don't know what you want me to do with this. And you're like, no, I don't deserve it. I need to go out and work before you give me this. It's like, it's already yours. Your desires are already yours. Feel how that feels. Does that feel good? Oh, I mean, some people could say, well, my ego's coming in and saying, if it's mine, then do 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 and that just is confirmation. You, you were feeling good. You were connected with God. You were connected with the universe. But then, bloop, you got out because what? It sounds like there's a little bit of fear and doubt in there. And that's what we call spiritual splinters. Just something that we feel so good and free. And the next thing you know, something comes along and it just makes us feel bad. Could be a thought. Could be like, well, you're not smart enough. You don't have enough of this. Are you even an expert enough in this? Trust that you are the one being called. That is your message, card one. Image one, if you're here, trust that that calling is your true self bringing you to yourself. And that's what's happening. So a lot of things are going to feel like they're changing around you, but it is all for the benefit. And you have to trust that it all works out in your favor. Image one, comment down below. Image one, if you guys are here, that's probably your tribe. Okay, so let's connect Let's build the community. Let's share more light so that it lingers to the next lifetime. It's just so beautiful, the words that are coming through. You could be a poet, a lyricist. I just love it. It's bringing that out of me. All right, I'm going to move on to image two. Image two, this is your message. Oh, my God. Okay, wow. This is making me feel so good. So obviously I created these images. So now that I'm like channeling the message, it just literally gave me a shock of fun and excitement. I'm seeing and I'm seeing a lot of fun. I'm even seeing Toy Story when they go to the arcade and they're in the galaxy, like, and they're playing the games. Like, it's just fun. There's something really fun about this, very exciting, very youthful, very exhilarating. I believe that you're restoring fun in your life. That is actually why you are here. You're here to explore. You are here to have fun. When you're having fun, you are in your most alignment is what I'm getting. Okay, when you're having fun, you're in your most alignment. So that means that you will receive a lot of channel messages when you're having fun. It just makes me feel like a kid again. It really does. Makes me feel like focusing on being a kid again. Just feeling that energy of playing and no worries and running around and being active is something too. Being more active is what I'm seeing. Going out more. Okay, connecting more with the right people. It's nostalgic. Okay, some of you I'm feeling are definitely coming from card one. So once again, if you're here, that's a second confirmation that creating and even movies could be really big, but being a creator, it's important that you're having fun. This is a perfect ingredient to creation is having fun. Okay, it's pleasure as well. Pleasure. And I say this and I'm going to say this again, creating an actual human being, a human one of, if not the greatest creations here in, on this planet comes from pleasure. Understand that. It's pleasure that's making beauty come to life. So fun is very important to your destination. So let's just see what's here. Arcade, kicking your feet, having a good time. 
I'm even hearing that you're here to create that energy. So you might be the person that brings people together to experience this, but fun, fun, fun is your next destination. You're going to see a lot more blessings come out of that vibration is what I'm hearing. You could be an artist as well. So there's a lot of rhyming there. Justice, you could be a Libra. So you are balancing this in your life, having more fun, creation, understanding that more things work out when you're having fun. Okay, this isn't fun, fun to escape. This is just enjoying life. Okay, it's true fun. Let's see what else is here for card image two. If they chose image two, what's here for them? Okay, we have the 10 of fortune. So we have the wheel of fortune. All right, so something just came to me right now. I definitely see traveling for some reason for very few of you guys. I just got like Tokyo or New York or lights. It doesn't have to be that. It could be Vegas again. I was getting that somewhere with a lot of lights. The lights represent energy to me. So I did get Tokyo. I'm getting Japan. I'm getting big cities, Singapore, um, New York. Something that I'm saying could be L.A., all right, could be Miami, anything that I'm saying, any country or anything that comes up, just take that as a confirmation. If there's one that's been on your heart and I've said it, take that as a confirmation. For those of you who are still kind of coming into this energy, I believe that that is something that is in your destiny here to be in a space with high energy. It doesn't have to be a city. It could be an arcade. An arcade is just giving me one physical representation of where fun happens. So you are where the fun happens. That's what I'm hearing and will be where the fun happens. And it's to infinity and beyond. So Toy Story is really big here. So it's beyond what you can imagine it to be. And it's in the wheel of fortune for you. It's in your destiny. So let's get some more clarification on what that is that you're manifesting for why you're here. Okay, polarity, we have healer, all right? So we have, you have powerful healing gifts, have faith in your ability, stay true to yourself as a healer. So right now, what you are manifesting is healing and your healing is coming from playfulness. It's coming from fun. It's coming from remembering the goodness that happened. Focusing on the goodness that happened and recreating those moments in your life is something that I see here. Okay. You have support. And then you also had polarity. Okay. And what this makes me think of is you've been focused. You've been worried. You've been concerned with a lot. And let's just see where that's coming from. Cause I want to be sure. Oh, let's get the message. They're telling me to come to this deck. Okay. They're asking me to get a specific Oracle message. I didn't do this for any other deck. So I know that this is for you card two. So message directly for card two on this balance, on this energy, because before I pull the card, what I'm getting is that you've been through so much darkness, like you've been through so much, like it just seems like you're really just ready to have a break, to just enjoy life. And what I'm getting is that the kids that are running, they're playing on the carousel, they're in the playground, and that feeling is coming to me, that feeling of no worry no stress. You're not thinking about your mortgage at 30. You're not thinking about how old you are. You're not thinking about what the other kids look like. You are just so free and you are in enjoyment. You are loving it. And I believe this is something you're getting back to, but it's been a little challenging when everything in the past has been discouraging. So when you focus on what has already happened, it makes the possibility of something new happen feel even further away. But spirit is saying it's closer than you think which is why we got to stop thinking and we got to get into our imaginative state because even imagining this feels good. Okay. Even me describing the feeling since you got here from car two feels good. It's a completely different energy than the first one. The first one I was in teaching mode. Now I'm like, Oh my gosh, I want to play. I want to put the tokens in. And I hear that there's prizes. There's prizes and rewards for having fun. Imagine, imagine if that was, if that was that easy. And spirit's like, it is. And that's why only 1% are meant to hear this. It's that easy. But we're so worried about the tokens. And how am I going to get tokens to play? How am I going to get money so I could just do this? Blah, 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 blah. Support is here. Support is coming in. And we're going to talk about the money. But I want to see what this polarity thing is. So polarity is just duality of dark and light. Once again, the dark just leads us back to the light like the bumpers on a bowling alley. 
It's just like, ooh, that doesn't feel good. Okay, get back into alignment. Get back to feeling better. Feeling good, feeling better. This is a priority. Because if you don't feel good, what is work? What's creating? What's having fun if you don't feel good? I remember when I went to Disneyland and I had a, a, a really bad tummy when I was young, young, my first time at Disneyland, and I felt terrible. You think I was having fun on the rides? No, I felt bad. So there's another confirmation, treat your body. Treat your body with more care so that you can enjoy and receive, okay? So there's so much coming here, but that's really, really big. Let's see what Spirit is saying. Let your feelings out, all of them, even the ones that scare you. So just being honest with yourself. This is the most loving thing that you can do for yourself is to simply be honest with yourself. And if you're not having fun, there's something about being relieved to just admitting it. Like, this is not fun. Because your life is meant to be fun. That's where your success will be where you're having fun. You will be the most successful manager at the arcade, director. Next thing you know, they're bringing virtual reality because you're there and you're so in your zone. That's just for a few of you. But the point is, is that it's not about practical things like a retirement plan and 401k. You gotta be there long enough to even get that. The people that will be there long enough are the people who love doing it who are having fun. So your success is also evidence of where you're having your most fun or should be. And that's the thing, hard work pays off. In what way? Because you're not even enjoying it, receiving the success. So fun is a sign that it's easy. And if it's meant for you, it should be easy, it should be fun. So there's a lot here about judgment of like what a job should be. And that's why I said arcade manager, because you will be more fulfilled doing something you love. If even if there's not a 401k and benefits and all these things, it's like, we're doing the thing. We're doing this for the wrong reasons for benefits for a 401k. You're going to trade your time for that. You got to like, be honest with yourself. If you don't love this, if you're not having fun, allow it to line and it will align perfectly, but you've got to trust in the universe. You've got to trust. You have to trust. I never in a million years thought that YouTube videos alone would be paying for my mortgage. And then some. How? It's like, this is not a job that you can pick out in college, guys. I wouldn't have found it there. And so the only way I found it was by following a guidance of my truer self of what am I excited to share? And look at how successful it is because it's in alignment. It's in alignment. And so there's fun, there's inspiration. There's gotta be for me to do this. There's gotta be. Okay, let's see what other messages are coming directly to you, card two. So stop pushing against what is. Align with it and move on. So once again, if it's, wor if it's meant for me, it works perfectly. That is the truth. So if it seems like there's a push or a slight tug, the puzzle piece is not fitting. So it's like, that's where you have to be honest with yourself. If it's not fitting, okay, let me take a step back and let the universe come in and show me. And it, it'll show you by everything that's working. That's leaving trails right there. This worked out, but this worked out. It's hard to see that when we're focused on what's not working out or what seems to not be working out. Okay, let's get some more information on their events. So we have the Ace of Vials. So we have the Ace of Cups. Something new is coming in for you. Brand new, a brand new beginning. And it's going to be based on how you feel this time. With the Ace of Cups, this is not the Ace of Pentacles, which is about, oh, it's a good deal. I'm going to take it. It's only a good deal if you're going to have fun every day doing it. Otherwise, you have to force yourself to go halfway through because you don't want to be there. Let's talk about true success. But the one person that's getting employee of the month every month, you know why they're getting that? They love it. SpongeBob loves being employee of the month. Loves it. Always on work on time. The first one there before it opens. Of course they're going to be successful. They genuinely love to do it. 
So that's what's going to align you. And in order to get there with the Ace of Cups, this is coming from a space of emotional fulfillment. Oh, I just love being here. I love this environment. I love the colors. I, okay, get there more. Get there more wherever this place is. So you have something new coming in. Let's see what that is. All right, Ace of Cups, something brand new that's gonna be bringing you an emotional fulfillment, okay? I see that you're gonna be doing a lot of things here and it's not for you to make happen. It's already aligning you with it. That's actual true manifestation. It's just destined for you, okay? So let's just see Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? What is this new path in? Unicorn, you're a unicorn. You're not like everyone else. We have a, quite a few unicorns. You are not like everyone else. And it's crazy because we have the angel wings up here too. So you are coming up as an earth angel, a healer. Many people are drawn to you. The more you align with yourself, the more people will be attracted to you, but not all the right people at the right time. How are they not the right people by simply just not being aligned at the right time? You meet everyone for a reason, but who you choose to keep and leave around you also sets the tone of energy and vibration. You're an empath. So that could be disturbing to be around others who are not on the same frequency. So there is here, I'm feeling some awareness when it comes to who you decide to be around. All right, so you are a miracle worker. So that is your job. You work miracles. Now, once again, I said tarot was my job. Imagine a miracle. Yeah, um, do you guys have any classes for miracle workers? Like, there is no occupation. You will create this. You will be the pioneer of this. So whereas you're looking for it everywhere in the world, it may not exist. So you're coming up with someone with a unique perspective and you have money magic. So how do we turn that magic on when you're having fun, when you're feeling good, pay attention the next time. And then you want to keep that feeling because that electricity is proof that you're plugged into the universe. And the goal, if there is one, is to maintain that every moment of your life, you're going to want to feel that feeling of goodness. That's how amazing it is. So dream come true, odd job. So Ace of Cups, you have a new path that's leading you to something that is quite odd, kind of like this, tarot. But as a actual person who has been through this journey, same as you, I never in a million years would have thought that it would be this that allowed me to be so financially free. And it's the same for you. So there's fun here. There's excitement. There's an energy exchange that I get when I do this. And it's because of the people that are connected with me. They have to be ready to receive. And so with that being said, there will be many things that you may do. And it might not just be one thing you're looking for. So allow yourself to branch out is what I'm hearing and expand yourself. Okay. Even for myself, I've been branching out. I hope to do a vlog here soon of what I've been up to. I've been branching out into something that feels even more exhilarating. So we are unicorns. We have a specific path. And therefore that means that you'll be even more wealthier because not everyone does what you do. So that's another thing to see your value. So that's who you are. Someone who is meant to do something that changes the world here um, as a unicorn with wings. So you're very different. The world has never seen anyone like you. Once again, you're part of the rare 0.001%. That alone says a lot. You would not be here. And what does that mean? We're connecting with the same creation and universe that Einstein was, that Nikola Tesla was, that Elon Musk is doing. The greats of the greats of the all time have been creating through this frequency of creation. And we are looking to see what is that? What is that? And so we are the spokesperson for the light, for these truths that not many people can reach because they're not on the vibration to. And yes, children will find it easier to find the truth than someone who is a lot older because they're stuck in their ways. They're stuck in their programmed ways. Hard to believe something else. And once you are stuck in belief, you can be stuck there for some time. So 
every Steve Jobs, people who are, I mean, people who have created Avatar, the greatest movies of all time, the greatest books of all time, songs of all time, music, movies of all time are connecting in a world that we don't see yet physically, but somehow they have access to. How are you seeing the book before it's in your hands? How are you seeing the movie before it's in the script, hearing the song before it's played? You have a gift. You've been overlooking it. It's so simple and so natural. You've been overlooking it. It's that easy for you. It's that easy. For others who are doing it and they don't love it, it's hard as hell. But to you, it comes easily because you love it. So that, that is what you're to be focused on because that is what's going to fill your cup. Not just by winning prizes at the arcade, just playing the games is fun. So then you will start to see this as fun. Oh, I get to play and I get rewards and I get tickets to go get prizes. Yes, you get to play, which means have fun creating, and you get to share it. And whenever you're sharing it, you're receiving tickets in return. People are giving you tickets because they enjoy it. What else is coming for card two? So this is definitely feeling like a continuation. Affluence, quick cash, clever poise, step up your game, out with them, negotiate, an influx of abundance, quick cash, deep pockets, Patron. Patron also tells me that you have supporters who will want to pay you to do this, to keep doing this, to keep finding this out, to keep discovering this, to keep sharing your fun. Hell, some people just watch videos because you're having fun and I want to feel that energy. When you're in the energy of it, you're able to express it. When you're in the energy of influence, it's like you naturally influence others because of where you are. It's like getting paid to exist. We hear this a lot, but it truly is like, we are so thankful that you even exist. And without you being here, I would have never known this. And that may be how you feel about the channel, but trust that many people will feel that way about the truths and the creations and the energy you're going to choose to share. It is enough. So you have a lot of money coming in quick resources out of nowhere. And it is to support this path toward your fulfillment. And in the meantime, you're healing yourself so you can receive more. That's what this is all about, having faith in your abilities so that you can stay true to yourself as a healer and you can receive more. Let's get another clue before we head out of here. Card two, what are they receiving through this fun, through this excitement? They are receiving friendship, okay? Another confirmation. So you're meeting other people along the path. It's also raising your vibration. And that is priceless. Wish you could just push a button and say, okay, you know what? I'm not feeling the greatest. Boop. I'm feeling great. I guess I maybe, maybe that's what substances are for. But it's still a cheat code to feeling good. It comes back to feeling good. I just want to feel good. So right now, if you want a to-do list, feel better. Feel better about more in your life. Feel better about receiving without having to do nothing feel better and allow this to come in and be and come into your life and trust that all the signs and everything around you is just communication that's guiding you. Sometimes it's annoying, but if it's annoying, that's usually, okay, what am I not listening to? What am I not getting here? Cause this is getting loud. These signs are getting loud. Okay. Let's see what else is here for card two. I feel like there's still something else here. Okay. We have strength twice. So you could be a Leo. You don't have to be but I'm just feeling like a break, okay? So we have strength, you've had to be so strong, and now it's like you have to learn how to lean on the universe. You have to learn how to receive support, how to receive help, how to trust that things will be taken care of even when you're having fun, that it will all be taken care of and that you have no interest in problems. I have no interest in problems, everything is taken care of. You're aligning with this reality here. We have the 12, so we also have the hangman. So changing your perspective to not feel like you have to work as hard to get the results, okay? It's you having so many filters on how you should receive. Well, it has to be through this job, through this payment, through this, through this, through that. Be open to receiving from the most random places and the most random people and watch it arrive. And tell the story, share the light, share it. 
Okay, we also have freedom at the bottom of the deck. So it says live wild and free, choose your freedom, choose and claim your independence. So now is the time for you to be self-sufficient because you having your own space, trusting your heart and what you desire is going to allow you to feel better, to feel good. When you're feeling good, you're aligned with God. Feel good, God is good. good. Okay, that's God talking. Ooh, I feel good. Am I, okay, that's God. Ooh, I feel bad. Not God. Cool. Back over here. It's that simple. The problem is, is when your ego yourself has trouble believing that uh, I could just have fun and my bills will be paid. I could just have fun and it'll all work out. I could just have, I know it sounds so simple, right? And that's because it's easier than we're making it. The people who are making the most, they're having the most fun. And that's crazy to say, but I'm going to be so happy to look at these theories, but I'm feeling that that's what I'm hearing. They're having fun. It's fun to them. Make, receiving money is fun. They're not stressed about it. They are having fun. So they're doing fun things and it allows more to come because they're in such a high vibration. Money flocks to fun. Look at the entertainment industry. We just want to be entertained. That's fun. We just want to laugh. That's fun. Like It's like we just want to feel good. That's fun. To feel better. So... Feeling good is what we're all in the business of. That's what it comes down to. It's feeling good. And that's feeling God without anything, needing anything. So if this is, if you guys are here, this is your message. Having fun is what's leading you to this next path that's going to fulfill you emotionally. Okay. There's no point of having a successful job with all of these benefits or Take it how it resonates with you. Staying with someone in exchange for this, but their energy is draining. You're, you, it may be cheaper to live there, but energetically, my, it's not cheap. Energetically, it is not cheap to live with you because of your energy. So we're not realizing that it's not just technically what I'm saying. I'm saying if it doesn't feel good, it's not God. God is not present. So until it feels good, then we, we will align. We will not align until it feels good because you are on a feeling good vibration. So it may be cheaper to live there, but the environment around it is costly energetically. So we got to stop with the word cheap. Oh, this was cheaper. This is cheaper. It's like, be honest with yourself and not through the filter of being cheap. What do you truly desire? What do you truly desire? And stop playing with the universe. <laughs> like, okay, that's what I'm getting. So you have so much freedom. You don't know what to do with it. You have so much support. You have no idea how easy it could come to you. So many people that are going to connect with you in a good vibration who will also support this. So you have a lot coming in store for you. I see all major arcanas here for the most part, except for one card. And that's very clear. Ace of cups. Okay a new beginning in relationships and feelings and emotions. Feeling good is the most important thing right now to you. And that's what's going to be the filter of everything. Does this feel good? Is this fun? If it's not, why am I doing it? Why do I keep doing this? And you will very quickly detect the fears, the doubts, and the disbeliefs around this one action and where it's preventing you from feeling free. You desire to be free, to live wild to not have a routine, let it flow. That's where the miracles go is when you're letting it flow. So that requires more trust, more rest, more allowing the universe to work in your life, but it is working out no matter what it looks like. And with the hangman being in reverse, you may not see it right away. You may think this is the worst thing ever. How could this happen? Da, 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 da. And you have no idea it's communication to lead you to your next destination, which is way better than where you've been. You're always evolving and the universe is on your side. The universe is on your side, card number two. So if you guys are here, comment down below number two so you guys can find your tribe because they're down there. If you all picked card number two, that's your tribe. You are all on this frequency of fun, vibration, letting it happen, letting it come to you, joy, inner child activities. When life was free, it just so happened to be when we were a child, but when life was the freest, this is what you're getting back to. All right, I'm going to move on to card three. If you guys are here, the message is so loud. 
that probably majority of you picked this card just because of how vibrant it was. If you feel drawn to another card, definitely go listen to that. But this is for the majority. And the majority is home. Home. Home, home, home is the word. Home. And I keep hearing the universe has a funny way of moving us. Because sometimes we won't move unless the house is on fire, literally. Sometimes we won't move until it gets so annoying, the signs get so loud, it gets so bad. We perceive it as bad, but it's the universe saying, get out, it's time to go. Go, get out, leave. And we just sit there and then the door falls off and then everything is like, I guess it's time to go. That's literally what I'm getting, okay? Many of you are getting ready to travel, getting ready to explore. What you care about the most is changing. It's no longer about what it used to be. It's about peace. It's about what's gonna make me feel the best. What's gonna bring relief? What's gonna feel grounding to where I feel like I'm in control, which truly just means I wanna be in alignment with where I desire to be that will feel good, that will bring joy. So we have you seeing the future, okay? So this is a home in the future that I designed and you are seeing yourself in the future. And what that means is that that just means there is a home that you are being guided to that you have yet to find, all right? So many of you will have multiple homes. Many of you have the home, but home is so significant. It's not just about a wall because Earth is our temporary home. And the truth is, is that if earth is our home, every house is small. There is no house big enough to contain who you truly are. And that's why you will outgrow a lot of situations, whether it's cities, it could be countries, it could be homes, it could be from an apartment to a home, okay? You are outgrowing your space. I'm getting home in that sense. I'm getting home in the sense of family. Okay, what is this? The Empress, mother card. Okay, so mother can be very significant right now, but that's once again, home, heaven on mother earth. This is how I see home, heaven on mother earth. And you guys got the Empress. So you are actually, I definitely felt like you're gonna be connected to more than one card. So card one could have been that other card for you. That's just a confirmation once again here. To go back and listen to that, that just means that you're ready for an, uh, an actual breakdown of a lesson. Cause that was a whole life light lesson that I just did on card image one. With the Empress, you are seeing that there's somewhere in your future that you are gonna go, but it is not for you to find it will just simply arrive. The problem is, is that some of us are going out of our way when the delivery is made and we're missing the blessing because we're out there trying to find it. We're out there trying to make it happen. We are not the ones making it happen. The universe is the one granting it to happen, but with your permission, which means you have permission to receive what you desire, it's up to you. You have permission. So the mother card is also giving me feminine energy. Feminine energy is compassion, is nurturing, is taking care of yourself, okay? That's feminine energy, very nurturing, nature, okay? So it deals with everything of nature, deals with everything of nurture, companionship, compassion, and also the allowance of someone else to lead them, okay? So there's two different frequencies of energies here. There's the one who just goes out there and is a leader, which is a lot of masculine energy. Feminine energy is trusting yourself to be led, okay? It's the more submissive, the one receiving, okay? That's why the woman and the male the one receiving, obviously. So once again, I feel like there's definitely children to be had, all right? So that's coming through. Children, family, I'm just getting family and just unity and coming together and being around people that truly love you, okay? Like they see you, not someone they want you to be, not, a, not what happened in the past. 
They see you beyond all of that and they love you. So you are getting ready to be in a space of family. You're getting called to your tribe, getting called to your family, gathering. And I did predict this for 2024. It doesn't matter when you're here, but for that fourth year, whatever happened or is happening is about stability. Okay. You think of a table, you think of four legs. We think of stable. This is two and two. This is stable. Okay. So we're coming into unity. The four of wands was the card that I predicted for that year. And that's about harmony. That's marriages. So marriages are getting ready to happen. Children are getting ready to be born. It's a new generation of a family lineage is what I'm hearing. And many of you have been on the path of discovering this. So your mom could be very important to your journey. And only, you know, that but they're bringing up the word mother. It's very important in, in some things that you could be experiencing. So what is that? Okay, and that is, and that is such a role to play. It has the most obligations. And this is why we gotta see beyond the roles. And I believe that is how we're going to heal families. We have to see each other past the role. You're not just my mother, you are a person with feelings. You are a mother, like you're a person, but if you're always in the role of my mother, how will you see me other than your daughter? How can you receive from the Oracle? If I'm your daughter, you might limit it, right? The roles are limitations, any role you play. So we're evolving past the role. If we want to be in unity and harmony, we have to see ourselves as the one that we truly are, which is love surpasses anything that you look like surpasses blood it's love it feels like a family okay so this is deep healing happening in your family happening in your partnerships okay and also a home that you're manifesting that is the perfect balance okay it looks really dope but it also is surrounded in nature okay so it's like you probably have a garden you're it's peaceful it's quiet but it's still inspiring, okay? Let's see what else is here as I'm getting into it, okay? We have the father, the king of wands. So we have a lot of creative energy coming through. Once again, I was getting that for image one. So you are in the state of receiving abundance because you have a desire to care for family, to care for, even if you're a parent, you having children has expanded yourself to receive more. So however you look at it, even expenses going up, it's truly you being expansive to receive more, okay? So I see with you being here, the king of wands, you have a lot of passion and a lot of energy and I'm seeing you as the empress. So you are here and a lot of your creations are driven by being able to help others and being able to provide for your family. So there's a lot of family dynamics here that are driving some of your desires is to be able to provide, be, be able to care for the ones you love. Okay, so there's a connection here with both. I'm just curious to see why is the Empress here? All right, we have the Eight of Cups. Okay, so something is inspiring you and let's just see what is that? Let's see, what is that? The priestess, okay. Something is inspiring you. So I'm definitely feeling like if you guys chose this card or if you're here, it doesn't matter. You are the more spiritual card. So I would say the first card was all about becoming and being the creator. The second card was about having fun to inspire creation. Third is about spirituality, the spiritual path to abundance is the best way I can feel it. You are taking a spiritual path that is leading you to abundance, but it's not, uh, abundance is not your initial desire. It's spirituality, it's helping people, it's sharing that light. So we share the same vision, home, heaven on mother earth. So that has been literally my mission is to bring heaven here on earth. And this purpose, you're here to share the light. So you did get the high priestess and this tells me that you will be walking away from things you already know intuitively before you do it because you are a creator. And also the Empress came out for card number one, not on camera, but before I was shuffling it, I talk about that as well. So card one, 
still pulling me over there. You're a creator, but initially what means the most to you is finding the truth. Finding the truth of knowing that you're abundant, meant to have a good life filled with happiness, filled with laughter, filled with peace, with harmony, with freedom, with love, with wealth, with abundance, with nature. All of those things that I said, if one of them didn't feel good, that's when you question it. But every single thing I'm saying feels good because it's coming from God. God is good. And you have to trust that in yourself, not just in me. I'm just here to light your torch. But my torch is lit. So now as you light your torch, you are trusting that in your own life. And that alone is inspiring. And you will help many people by just simply choosing yourself and choosing to allow yourself to receive that life. And then you will share it with others and you'll have the big home. And I mean, you're going to have a huge home. It's, it's, but it's your desire to care for so many people and bring people together that makes this come to life. So if you didn't have a desire to take care of other people, bring them together, host events, bring your family into one space, bring a community in one space, you would not manifest this. But because your heart's truest desires is to bring people together, you're manifesting what looks to be a palace, what looks to be a museum, what looks to be a mansion. But it's not just because of you. So it, it's almost like understand how people you love play a part in the inspiration and the light that's within you. You're inspired to help others, to show others, whether it's your children, whether it's your family, whether it's your friends. And that alone says who you are, that you desire to share. And because of that, you are abundant. So when you understand your true desires, you can actually receive your manifestations. Some people don't even know. They think they want the house because it looks cool. Connect with it deeper. Do you see yourself like looking cool, getting out at a very pivotal moment in your life? Or is it just about ego? See, a lot of us are doing things for the wrong reasons. Oh, I want my family to be proud. They'll be proud when you're happy, even if they don't know it. It doesn't matter what that is. That's what's going to make them proud because happiness is contagious. When you're laughing so hard, they're laughing, they're crying. It's like, come on now. Now, if they choose not to see that or be aware of that, that's on them. But understand you living in your authentic self and receiving the desires that actually ignite you is benefiting them you will be the possibility that they don't even see in their life. So yeah, they might question you. People might question you around you. Well, how are you going to do this? And how are you going to do that? And that's because they had those questions and they couldn't overcome them. But here you are having the courage to look deeper. And let's see what the universe wants you to know. Thank you. You have such a bright light inside. Stop dimming it. There you go. So once you are the light, your true self, the one that's fearless and you're doing it, you love it, you're excited about it. And we know that you love your family and the people closest to you. And that's how we know, right? I'm giving you confirmation. We're looking in the future that it comes true, that it all works in your favor. You have to trust that. Let that go. It's going to happen. It's already happened. It's for you. And now open yourself up. And we're going to talk about this one. Because you being that light is what's going to inspire them. We are going to inspire people more by living it than just talking about it very soon here. And that's because anyone can talk about it. Some people know the truth, but they're not living it so they don't get to experience it as deeply as it could be experienced. And so you are completely different. You're coming up as the high priest. You are taking the path towards spirituality. Now, it's interesting because I said go back to card two or card one, but now I'm saying card two, make time to play, have fun and be free. You could be coming from card two. And this was the whole message. Make time to play and have fun, be free. When you're having fun, it's the perfect ingredient to your creation. That's the quote. Distractions among distractions. But pretty soon you will be in a space 
where there's so much peace that you can easily create. Creation requires the most perfect aligned ingredients, perfectly aligned and, and a great creation at that, a successful one, whatever that is. If it's alive and it's here, it's successful. So you don't need to question your creations and what you've created. Okay, some of you I'm hearing it's, it could be a clothing line. That's what I'm hearing. Some of you, it could be some, but it's deeper than that, could be the message behind it. Really connect with what that is. Making time to play. Most of your channeled answers will come when you are playing. Yeah, there's an excitement here behind family. So you could be getting ready to do uh, meet your tribe. It says, do something kind for someone without any expectation. So I believe once again, this is expanding you. Like not, they're bringing me the term wasting, okay? You cannot waste what is abundant. It's just abundant. It's overly, there's no waste. Okay, so it's like doing something for someone is putting you in a state of generosity is also putting you in a state of giving. So doing something for someone kind so you can see, boom, that you're abundant and that you don't need anything in return because you will receive always. You're always receiving. Okay, so you are aligning yourself with wealth. Okay, let me pull that. I want you to see what you're manifesting if you're here, card three. See for yourself what you're manifesting. We have possibility at the bottom. So that's something too, is I believe you're going to manifest the impossible. What many people have tried to do that could never do because it was meant for you, whoever you are. So you have to really trust those creations. That's actually what's making you so abundant in this world is that you are sharing your creations and others are enjoying your creations and that's why they're sharing with you so it's an equal give and take that's why when people do business just for money it's obvious like i don't feel the authenticity i don't feel like you really love this and you're you're really like obsessed i mean i know people who travel the world just to find different spices because they love it. Like that's love to me, but just to make a bunch of spices to make money or because it's a great idea, it's still not authentic because anything that you love is a good idea that will pay off. So being a good idea, we got to go past this. Okay. I'm just really hearing that because a lot of people are like, this is a great idea, but what is this like? It's like, what does that mean? It's a great idea. What declares it and rules it to be a good idea without results? So instead of it's a good idea, it's really got to be a good feeling. I, I feel like that's where the confusion is. It's got to be a good feeling, not just a good idea. Because if it's a good idea, it's like, okay, that's what it's going to go into the world as just a great idea. But isn't it worth more than that? Isn't it more meaningful than just being a great idea? Like it goes past being a good idea. It's because you're so obsessed with it that like, that's the person I would want to make me a, I'm just using a spice rack at the moment. Someone who actually really enjoys it that, that they're, they allow their inspiration to take them to different places to explore it. And then they love it so much. They're sharing it with you. You can tell like anthropology and they're telling you about the fossils and all these things. It's like, I get to be you without being you. Meaning I get to live your whole journey through you expressing your love for this anthropology that I personally don't have a love for because that's not my journey. Like that's not what excites me, but hearing you talk about it excites me and makes me love it more. So it's like you sharing it is something that is a deep fulfillment to others based on how they feel. We've got to value how we feel more than money. We have to value how we feel more than money or we'll keep getting tricked because you can have a lot of money and feel bad. 
but you can feel good and have no money. You can feel good for free. <laughs> like, you, like, that's free. We have to value that. But sometimes that doesn't come easy when you're at a job with an annoying employee. But that annoying employee was sent, I want to say sent from the universe, but the universe, we're all one. So the universe plays its part and becomes that annoying employee to get you to leave. Because if not, you'll get too comfortable in the job and then you'll miss your purpose that's getting ready to come around. Like we don't see that far in advance through our human perspective. So we have to rely on something greater. And the only thing that we have inside of this body greater is that intuition and that radioactive clairvoyance that's coming in from the universe, whether it's through signs, through numbers, it's all communication, communicating you in the right direction. That's, that's the whole success of this. The universe celebrates when you celebrate. We're in this together is basically what I'm hearing here. Okay. So do it without expectation. That's what I'm getting with this card. If you did it every day and they didn't pay you at the end of the week, would you still go? Be honest. If they didn't pay you and the week came, do you know that for your job, some people may say yes, but those are the people who just love it. So they're going to be the most successful. So go find what you love the most, enjoy it, and then share it with others and allow your abundance to come in. Okay. So your financial frequency is very large but it's because of your appetite to feed others. You have a desire to care for others, to share. So of course you're not gonna be in this tiny house that's just about you. You wanna share, you wanna have people come over, you wanna enjoy your space by yourself, but you also want to share, whatever that looks like. You might have multiple places, so you do have your own space for those of you who are saying, mm -mm, I need my space, I get it. But at the end of the day, you always desire to come together. Um, especially with people of your family, of your tribe, people who really connect with you. It, it's like being in heaven by yourself. You can be in heaven, but by yourself, be open to receiving more help is what I'm getting. Be open to receiving more people into your family. Okay, that's something that I'm learning, even with you guys being here as my tribe, being open to receiving more people as my family. It's so much love. I have to receive it in increments. And that's why I'm saying some of us don't realize it's so much goodness, we will literally drown. And we don't believe it. We're like, no, no, it can't be that good. It's, I'm telling you, it's so good. You push it away, it's too good. You think it's a scam or something because it's too good to be true. It's like, I'm telling you, the, the ego is very clever at making these things up. But you're coming up as the high priestess here, so you know this. You are more spiritually advanced than any other deck. Now, if you chose this card first, that's even more of a confirmation. Ones that didn't, it doesn't matter because you still got here. It just means that you take a longer path to get home. That's it. That's all. See, there's no such thing as a bad message. It's all redirection is what I'm telling you all. So when something happens, we shouldn't be afraid of the truth. All right? So... Your desire to share with others is what makes you so abundant. That's where abundance comes from. At some point, you desire to share your heaven with others. And th those who don't just, and once again, there's nothing wrong about being by yourself. I love myself enough to like to be with myself. Some people say it's alone. We're never alone because if you say we're alone, you're overlooking yourself. Yourself is your greatest best friend. It's right here with you 24 seven. No one else can be yourself. Yourself has a voice. Yourself has a body. It allows you to be here on earth in the physical, but you are having a human journey and you're a spiritual being. So that is the truth that many will come to. And you know, it's the truth because it brings you freedom. It feels like God. It feels good. And even more so, it's so good, you will want to share with others. Like I said in the first card, a great meal that's so good. That's like, once again, someone who e eats something really good and they just want it for themselves. Like, that's greedy, right? I just want to keep this and never let anyone know about this so I can have it for myself. That's where the greed is coming from. But it still comes from lack, comes from fear. 
the other way says, I'm so abundant and I have this taste so good. This life is so amazing. I want to share it with others. And that's a perfect aligned place to be. It's not because you're escaping. It's not because you can't be by yourself. It's truly just wanting to share this with others. All right. And that's what you've been doing this entire time, taking the journey that many others will not take because they're not ready. Okay. What is it that they're manifesting? Good luck, fortune. Yes. Like I said, I can't make it up. First card out. Can't make it up. Cannot. Why else would you be seeing this? Okay. Some of you could be into architect. You can be an artist of some sort. It doesn't matter. You could be a creator. You're all creators. You're creating your life every day. You make the decisions every day and every decision creates a path. Your path is leading you to spirituality, which is just seeking the truth and discovering it. As you discover more of it, you will discover that you're very abundant. Like I said earlier, earth is your temporary home. So if earth is your home, there is no home too big enough for you. That makes everything else look very small and you look very abundant. And to see yourself as that boundless being where you can just stretch and have more than enough without the compromise of stress to keep it. You have good luck and good luck means perfect alignment. You just simply are perfectly aligned with this reality. And that's what you're doing now. You're aligning with receiving more. You're receiving in increments. You got this house and then you'll get another one and then you'll buy one and then you'll buy two and then you'll want a loft and then you'll want, you're going to be expanding. And I'm using homes because it's an easier way for us to kind of see it, but this works for any desire. So pay off flying high plenty. So where, what are you manifesting? Plenty. Look at that. You have plenty of space here. There's plenty of space. But once again, it's because you desire to share and you're abundant. You desire to be in a, a space that allows you to express and share yourself. So you don't have to justify your desires, why you want them. And if you're going to share them, you don't have to share. You can be abundant and not be aligned to share because there aren't people ready in your vibration to receive. It's not that you're being stingy. Some people aren't ready to receive all of that abundance that you're living. So that's what the thing is. It's a frequency and you have an appetite for more. So you have natural good luck, fortune smiles upon you. So this is something that's just in your destiny. Security, planning for the future. We talked about this. You're seeing the future. So long-term career, savings, investing, assets, money savvy, planning for the future. Once again, this could definitely be earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, because we do talk a lot about material things because we are, in the sense, connected very deeply with material things, including nature. So we are always in a practical sense. Well, whoever you are, you are stretching beyond practical. Because this is not something practical that you're manifesting. It's bigger than practicality. And it's not going to be a practical way to get it. All right. So that's where you have to understand that you don't have to make this happen. The universe is making it happen for you. What else are you manifesting? So you're going to have plenty of security and always have a place of security. Indirect path toward success. I just said that. I just said that. It's like the universe knows exactly what I'm going to say here. Okay. I love this. Okay. So we have two messages here that are just peeking through the deck that I want to get through. So we have indirect path to success. Remember when I said, if you're going this way, the universe will make the signs louder, make it more uncomfortable. That's the best way to put it. It'll make your situation so uncomfortable to the point where you don't have a choice, but to leave, say no, go somewhere else. And that's because we've been avoiding the signs all the way up into it. We say, it's not that bad. We say it's not that bad, but it's still bad. So that's where it comes into expanding yourself to receive more good. Even saying it's not that bad says I'm willing to settle for less than good. Follow me now. <laughs> this is feeling like a sermon. I'm, I'm see, this is why I just love you guys because I could just say this stuff. Like, you know, it's not crazy. This is what you're here for to hear that. And that's the only way I know how to be is to be connected with the deepest truths. All the signs are there and we wait. I don't know if you guys heard that collective message in the very beginning, but sometimes we wait until they get so loud and uncomfortable that then we decide to move. And that's the universe's way 
of redirecting you like the bumpers on the bowling alley redirecting you but understand it's not the opposite where the universe is testing you the universe is never testing you and quote quote me post this the universe is never testing you that word test doesn't even feel good just i mean it's easy to just knock them all out when you know what god is god is truth and god is good and that doesn't feel good right there in itself so that's not true and we're getting duped by false prophets well we believed in this pastor and then we found out or this spiritual leader every week it's another spiritual leader being exposed well how do we know when they're telling the truth how do you know and the only way I can tell you is it's a feeling. It's a feeling you can't deny deep in your gut. And you have to trust that in the next decade to come, especially. Because pretty soon people, not us, because we have discernment, will not know the difference between real and what is not. They will not know. They will get duped every time. But if you know the feeling and you know God, you know that God, just listen to how that sounds. The universe is testing you. God is testing you. Does that feel good? No, you will not hear me say that other than explaining it right now. And this is hopefully going to be the only time. If you choose a different direction other than what you authentically truly desire, which is why I say be honest from the start, because then you want to start over and over and over and over and over and over and over just to come back to this one place you will always have to come to. The truth. Do you truly love this, them, or that, or not? And you have to be honest with yourself. That is self-love. I love you so much. I'm going to be honest with you. To spare you suffering, struggling, falling in that hole that I can see that you can't, whatever it may be. And some of you may have told other people this. I feel like you right now. You're telling all these people this. Invoice them next time. Send the invoice so you can see that it's worth something. This light, this truth, this knowledge, this connection. Okay? Anyways, you don't have to send an invoice. But the point is, is that if you wanted to, you could. Now... If you choose this, then there will be bumpers like on the bowling alleys. Oops, bump, get back into alignment, into the middle. But that's only if you choose to go that direction. It's not the universe saying, test them. Test them. They need to learn their lesson. That sounds like American parenting. I don't know where we got that from. I don't. There's just so much here. <laughs> so much here. And you guys are connected to a family that is so powerful, so powerful because you're aligned with this tribe or this family that is very, very powerful because you all do something. But once again, you're aligned. Are they aligned? I see that this is not something we ask. Are they aligned? If you're aligned, it simply means you feel good. You're aligned with God. I feel good. They feel good. They feel good. They don't feel good. They don't feel good. It's that simple. So if you decide to take a path other than what you knew from the beginning authentically, and sometimes it's so loud you don't know, and that's okay. That's why the universe puts the bumpers up and redirects us, like I said earlier. So it's not the universe testing them. Oh, test them. See where they're going to go. Let's test them. That sounds very, like, dictating. Like, that doesn't even feel good. And I can go into all the reasons why, but this is how we're getting duped, is we're not listening to our own intuition. You can no longer rely on us to be the voice of God in your life. Tarot readers, or in whatever the case may be, anybody for that matter. You have to know for yourself, because there's not going to be, you can't call me, because I'm getting that some of you guys are at heaven's pearly gates, like, hey, energy said that I was going to get a house, and it's like, if you align to receive it, it is here for you. Now, when you get it is up to you. It's up to when you're open to receive all of this. And some of us have to start very small to expand yourself to receive more because you don't feel worthy or you have a block 
in receiving more, whatever that may be. But it's never the universe, okay? So if there is another path, explore all path, one leads to another, sampling life, that's exactly what you've been doing. You've been going over here and you're like, okay, I love this, but I don't love this part. You've been going to the next place. Okay, I love this, but I don't love this. You're just slowly aligning, slowly aligning, slowly aligning to what? A beautiful home, a beautiful family, doing what you love to do while sharing it with the ones you love that love to do what they're doing. And it feels like we're all in heaven. This is a destination not many people get to experience. So even more so, if you decide to share this life, okay, some of you, it could be vlogging content, that's when you share, when you're inspired. You don't plan creation, okay? For you guys that are creators, I know I had to learn this one. Planning creation, okay, tomorrow I'm gonna record. How do I know? How do I know tomorrow I'm getting the message? Unless I feel like, oh, I'm inspired, tomorrow's gonna be it. Planning it, saying, oh, Wednesday, I'm going to talk about this, and Wednesday, I'm... It's not authentic to the creator, to the creator in me. It structures creation, and we're so busy structuring it, doing this, shaping it this way, and putting an index on it that we're not allowing it to be free. Let your creations be free. They're already perfect, okay? So that's what I'm hearing for you, especially. Let's see. Oh, yeah. So you had two other messages. Boom, divine couple, okay? It goes along with the message. No one else got this energy. This is about a divine relationship. So you and that person are mirroring each other. Your most authentic self, there is a version in another that mirrors this. Magic mirror at the bottom. Public persona. You are the product. Social media. Speaking leader. Okay. This is what I say all the time. I say this all the time, you guys. I don't know how many times you heard me. But when I see the Kardashians, okay, it doesn't really matter what you think of them. But to actually see the truth, and this is why you have to really get out of biasness and ego to see the truth or you'll miss this. They represent a family dynamic where multiple people are living their dreams and they still come together as one. The fact that they're even able to do that and then say, hey, we're going to put our whole life out there. You share your life with a bunch of producers coming in and out of your house. Would people even want to watch? Are you even inspiring? There's some inspiring aspect to them. And obviously it's the abundance that they have. It's the materialist. I mean, there's so many reasons why I'm not, I don't want to get into, I see the spirit of people. I see the light of people. There's no point of addressing darkness when there's so much light to see. I don't care about the dark in them. All I see is unity. They somehow are a family all living their dreams and they come together. It's beautiful. This is beautiful. But it's like, we're missing it because we're so worried about the wrong things. I'm just hearing, but they did it, but it. the point is, is that sharing your life is a part of an abundance factor. You're sharing, and obviously what they're sharing is good enough for prosperity because people are enjoying it, whether they're admitting it or not, and seeing them be inspiring to even be on camera to film. Half of us can't even show up to the camera to, sh to even post one post on social media. It takes strength, it takes bravery to be in front of whoever's watching. The universe is what I say. But if you're being your authentic self, there's nothing to be afraid of. I don't care what people think, especially if it's not the truth. Especially if it's not the truth. I don't care what people think because it's pointless, it's not the truth. So why would I give energy to it? But you have a divine couple, divine partner that is mirroring this version of you that you're becoming. And it's also someone who is in the, fa look, family business, share wealth. So you have a, an abundant person, work together, love at work. You guys both love doing it. So not only are you working to receive all of this, these blessings in your life, now you're receiving a person who's also receiving those blessings in their life. That is a lot of prosperity. That's a lot of abundance. 
Like that's a lot. You're duplicating yourself in a person. This version of you is duplicating yourself in a person and there is wealth behind it. Now behind that we had stop trying to carry the world on your shoulders. Your work is rewarded, steady going, plant your feet, unstoppable, great passion. Okay. So we have patience. So the patience is with ourselves to receive more. What do we need to have patience for? It's not the universe having patience. It's us to receive more. And let's see, this is the only time I'm bringing out this deck. I'm being led to end it with this message. Yourself, you have to be patient with yourself to receive because yourself is taking long. You're ready to go, but self is taking forever. And that's the thing is like not even, people don't even understand that, that their self is not, that their self belongs to them. It's not them. And we're mixed, it's just crazy. We're misdiagnosing so many things because we don't know what it is. It is duality. We are in a duality factor. Let's see what else is here. Sometimes you will break before you bloom, breaking into bloom, time, liberation, and understanding. So that's what's been happening right now. You are getting ready to bloom. You already see where you're going. Enjoy the journey and everything will arrive in due time. You will not have to go get this. You will not have to make this happen. If that feels good to not have to do anything, now you're going to create, but no one has to tell you to create. So that's like doing nothing because you enjoy it. So for all you literals who are like, well, you don't just do nothing and it arrives into your, like, yes, obviously there will be action, but the only action is bringing it to life. And you're excited at that point because you love it, which is why you have to choose something you truly love. This is what's connected to your abundance. Anything else here for card three, image three? Magic mushroom, miracles, fairy energy opening up. Stay open to the beautiful things. So be open to things. That's something too. Um, so be open. Some of you guys could be into medicinals and maybe the truth of it and discovering how it actually expands your consciousness. It's reminding me of uh, Alan Watts. I haven't really gotten into mushrooms just yet. But I feel like if that is your calling to be open to receiving, because we do have miracles, fairy energy and opening up and stay open. So that could be something very pivotal is I'm just getting being open to the magic and the magic is it just arrived and it just showed up and it just happened. And I just met the right person at the right time. All of that is alignment and synchronicity. That is true manifestation. Because a lot of people are going to be stuck in I'm manifesting. I-N-G, I'm manifesting, but when is it manifested? When does it arrive? If you're manifesting, that's like your delivery showing up and you went out there going to try to find it. That's why the universe is like, listen, it will show up. You will not have to go get it. And this is something that could take a lot of time because we're so used to making things happen in our human nature. Last message, just let me be liberation and freedom wild free spirit and authentic so your authenticism is going to pay off you being authentic and you also manifesting people who are authentic around you you are looking for freedom you are looking to just be you are looking to be free to be liberated liberated feeling no worry no concern no care no problems and you don't need anything to feel this and so you're learning how to reach for these spaces to feel these spaces in your imagination until the physical does arrive, you still have access in your imaginative world. That's a whole nother conversation in itself. Okay, spirit, I hear you still. What's the last message for, we have six of cups at the bottom. It's, it's imperative, you do have a love partner specifically that will mirror the highest version of you. That is the truth. Because there would be no other partner for you. So it, you just would evolve, evolve. You're evolving quickly past many of your relationships. That's what's happening, okay? Clear your mental and physical clutter. You will feel so much better. There's a sign right there. If it feels bad in any way, clear the cl clutter so you can hear. So there's something about peace. There's something about creating a space where you can just connect and you can create and allow yourself to receive these channeled messages in this time. If you're here, this is your message for now. 
In the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next pick a card reading whenever that is. But I'm hoping that this gave you enough inspiration to linger in your life. Okay, so if you guys are here, card number three down below, image number three down below, meet your tribe down below.